and it's the digital currency that people seem to be talking about these days around usage around the world and also its volatility. The media reports point to Bitcoin's growing popularity, but there is scrutiny here in the U.S. on how to regulate what is essentially a money transfer system. Leading Tan in New York has more. Uh, Ryan, I'm going to need some busting kneecaps in a moment. Can you be uh, escrow? Shaded under trees in a Manhattan park, money is changing hands, though not for what you might think. So I'm sending him two Bitcoin, right? And he's going to give you cash, well, five. Both wearing T-shirts and jeans, these are traders betting on the digital currency Bitcoin. And Union Square Park is to them what the New York Stock Exchange is to traders in suits. I think what we're seeing with Bitcoin is a, a tremendous outcry from a, a latent demand that, that has kind of existed in everyone which is the desire for an apolitical currency that can be used all over the world and cannot be stopped. But should it be stopped? Bitcoin fans hail the decentralized virtual currency, but critics say it is dangerous. That's because while Bitcoin can be used innocuously to buy and sell consumer items, it can also be used for criminal activity, such as money laundering and illegal narcotics. It's also been reportedly used to skirt sanctions like the ones imposed on Iran. The currency is now under a U.S. Senate probe, and New York's financial regulator recently subpoenaed 22 Bitcoin companies to see if new regulations are called for. Technology entrepreneur and business analyst Ari Zoldan cautions against investing in Bitcoin and questions its long-term viability. I'd say it's probably a very high-level experiment now, and until the proper until the proper infrastructure is in place, I, I just see it as a trend right now and something that's a real big fad, and certainly a lot of fun to play with. But in terms of actually taking the currency seriously and building confidence with the consumer and the end user, I'd say it's a very high-level risk. Apart from the legal arguments, what about Bitcoin's usability? Remember that $205 deal at Union Square Park? Here at the Bitcoin exchange, transactions often take about five seconds to complete, but the last transaction took about 20 minutes before it completed, and therein lies part of the problem. The biggest obstacle to Bitcoin's success appears to be Bitcoin. The turnout here was a minimal eight people and not everyone was trading. And my attempt to trade 10 cents using my iPhone was unsuccessful. Bitcoin may be growing more popular around the world, but even fans concede that this four-year-old currency is still a work in progress. Li Tan, CCTV, New York.